<laughs> Scott Moynihan and his daughter Michaela share a burden Scott wishes he could lift from her tiny shoulders. They both have diabetes. When we first got the diagnosis, I was a little, I was angry to be honest with you. I kind of felt like it might be my fault. Moynihan and his father had type 1 diabetes, or so they thought, which they treated with insulin for years. They expected the same treatment for Michaela, but that would have been a mistake. Well, she would have been treated with insulin. You would have treated with something the child doesn't require, because the child makes insulin. It just doesn't get it out of the cell. Genetic testing on Michaela showed it wasn't type 1 at all. It's a genetic form of diabetes better treated with an oral medication. Further testing showed Scott and his father had the same form. Within days, they were both off the insulin they had been taking for years. I definitely feel better. I feel sharper. My body feels better. I just think I'm, it's easier to control my blood sugars. It's the type of individualized medicine, looking at a patient, their genes and their disease and finding the right treatment, that SickKids hopes will become the new standard of care with their Center for Genetic Medicine. We've been able to show in a few cases now that adverse effect has to do with the genes that that individual carries. So having the, the genome sequence actually informs on not only drugs one should take, but also drugs that one should not take. New technology will allow the genome testing to be done more quickly and cheaply. The hope is to sequence the genome of every child who has a suspected genetic disorder or even similar symptoms. When we sequence their DNA, we may actually be able to compare them against each other and find common genes that are shared between these unrelated individuals. And that will lead to new gene discoveries that then can come back into the hospital diagnostic laboratory to benefit other families. Having the blueprint, so to speak, will not only help with the diagnosis of genetic disease and tailoring treatment, but also likely hasten the discovery of more genes involved in various disorders just from being able to compare and contrast a number of different people's DNA. It's so fascinating. It is and This fascinating. is really the new frontier. It, it is, and the technology that they now have is going to allow them to, instead of see one billion points on the DNA chain, to see three billion. Wow. Mm. And to be able to do it in far less time. So, amazing. Okay, B. Thank you. You're welcome.